Bitcoin mining is something we want to be a part of and exposed to, but why not use it to develop these power plants right from the get-go? Landfill gas is a natural byproduct of the decomposition of organic material at landfills. Yeah, methane is produced in, in landfills. It's kind of the stinky gas that everyone smells and knows landfills for. My name is Brian Black. I'm the CEO of Nodal Power. I'm Matt Jones, the CTO of Nodal Power. My name is Daniel Seacrest. I'm the CFO of Nodal Power. The grid really is aging and in dire need of baseload renewable energy. And while solar, wind are great sources of renewable energy, their intermittency creates some problems. Let's create a power plant right on the landfill and put some data centers with Bitcoin miners in them right next to it, generate electricity from that methane. And if you had landfill gas power plants at all of these landfills with 4,000 megawatts of capacity, you could power over 3.5 million homes annually with that. We needed to go find a partner that really understood the vision, understood the long-term play here, and that's how we found Space Station after looking for a while of someone that could really believe in what we were doing. And now with Space Station Investments partnering with Nodal and becoming kind of this new entity together, we're able to bring uh, the capital side. Nodal brings new renewable energy to the grid and we're able to optimize that through Bitcoin sales and mining or sales to the grid, which really makes it kind of first of its kind power company. 60% of all landfills in the United States are owned and operated by those three entities. The best way to take down a large amount of capacity is to partner with the larger players in the space. How crazy that we're taking trash gas and turning it into something productive, energy, electricity. Luckily, these guys are smart enough to figure out how to do that, and the Space Station Investments was smart enough to realize a really good opportunity when they saw it. So our first project, it's a 3.2 megawatt grid tied project, which has a one point, currently has a 1.5 megawatt mining footprint which has been operating since June. The second project, the 1.6 megawatt footprint, it's gonna be completely off-grid. Uh, we're currently in development right now and have that up and running first part of October. And we will shift between mining and grid sales based on uh, economic opportunity cost. To be a part of the future that as these landfills will have decades of you know, methane you know, still coming out, that we're able to capture that, harness that power is a huge part of the capital needed is to keep improving our planet. For us to come in and use Bitcoin mining as a tool, and that's really how we view it as a tool, to utilize Bitcoin mining to bring these stranded assets to market really brings a lot of flexibility and resources to the grid that otherwise wouldn't be developed. This is the future. This is the future of supporting the Bitcoin network and the future of power, of renewable baseload power, the next generation. Next generation. The next generation of independent power producers.